The Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center has long been on the leading edge of medical research. One of its latest research studies is bringing new hope for patients with a debilitating genetic disorder. We're talking about muscular dystrophy, and in particular, Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Now, here to share more about this breakthrough, we have Dr. Jill Raphael Fortney, a professor at the Center for Muscle Health and Neuromuscular Disorders. I want to thank you for being with us, doctor. Thank you, Robin. Thanks for having me. You know, lots of people are, are familiar with muscular dystrophy. They've heard that word before, mm -hmm. that term, but I'm not sure everybody can kind of fully explain what it is. So can you do that for us? Sure. So Duchenne muscular dystrophy is a degenerative disease of all the muscles in the body. And so it affects between 1 in 3,500 and 1 in 6,000 newborn males, boy, only boys, and uh, patients' skeletal muscles, so their limb muscles, the muscles they use to walk and the muscles they use to raise their arms and brush their teeth and feed themselves um, slowly degenerate so that by the time they're about 12 they have to spend their lives in a wheelchair. And as we know Ohio State Wexner Medical Center has some interesting research they're doing specifically in this area of Duchenne so share with us more about your work in this study that's happening. Okay well um, I just f first should say that that Ohio State really is one of the the hubs of, mu of research on Duchenne muscular dystrophy. So my lab and, and our team has worked on um, studying drugs that are known to be uh, standard of care for heart failure. And we tested these first to see if they would, if using them earlier, would be able to prevent the cardiomyopathy that develops in these patients. And it turns out that not only do they prevent um, the cardiomyopathy, but they also um, prevent the skeletal muscle degeneration and the loss of function that goes along with it. It's incredible. Those are the things that we need to see happen. Mm -hmm. Of course, some of the was a young. Um, is a boy with, with DMD who uh, really wanted to do something with his life with his, with his father, Ty, and they um, began doing some fundraising several years ago, and they raised enough funds that actually um, seeded the initial study where we did the initial lab experiments to see whether these um, drugs were able to, to work. Um, and then from that, this has led to um, several federally funded National Institutes of Health grants and Department of Defense grants that now actually study um, to understand more about how the drugs can be a therapy for skeletal muscle diseases and in, in muscular dystrophy um, and have also funded a cl this a clinical trial that's ongoing. Now, I also want to mention OSU, a sponsor of NBC showing um, the movie Darius Goes West, and that's this Friday. His story also an inspiration, really, for this. It was. So um, because there are so many investigators at Ohio State um, who study Duchenne muscular dystrophy, we actually gave a, a specialized one-credit course at OSU on Duchenne muscular dystrophy last year. We had them watch the movie, and then we had a discussion about what it would be like to be a patient, how they would picture their lives different. Um, and and I, people were really struck at, struck at, on the one hand, you know, that, that nothing is different about a boy with DMD. He was just like them and someone who wanted to see the world and hang out with his friends. Um, but on the other hand, had to be and allow his friends, d had to be so dependent on his friends and allow that, that they had to help him brush his teeth and they had to carry him into the water. And, and that was, you know, the biggest point of discussion of you know, how hard it would be for us to get to the point to allow someone to help you to to that extent and but but um, you know he had a wonderful group of friends as as hopefully everybody does who would help them in those sorts of situations right you need that support system mm -hmm. all right I want to thank you for being with us for bringing us all this great information today doctor okay. thank you thank you Robin well, as we said, this Friday, you can watch NBC4's special presentation of the award-winning documentary, Darius Goes West. It's brought to you in part through the support of the Ross Hart Hospital at Ohio State's Wexner Medical Center. Darius Goes West will run Friday, September 18th from 9 to 11 p.m. right here on NBC4.